can you predict the future maybe and if so can you change the future can you change the divine providence that's what bhaskara the second or bhaskara acharya tried with the horoscope of his daughter leelavati in today's video let's see the story of leelavati and bhaskara acharya namaste everyone welcome back to sc nimbu this is shri rekha bhaskara the second or bhaskara acharya was present in 12th century he was one of the greatest indian mathematicians he was not only a mathematician but he was also an astrologer and an astronomer he has worked on calculus 500 years before newton or leibniz worked on calculus he produced extensive treaties on spherical trigonometry and algebra and found amazing solutions to the problems which was not even discovered in europe till 17th or 18th centuries he has worked on algebra arithmetic calculus geometry spherical trigonometry astronomy his greatest work his magnum opus is called as siddhanta shiromani it's divided into four parts leelavati bija ganita graha ganita and gola adhyaya leelavati deals with arithmetic progressions Bija Ganita deals with algebra, Graha Ganita deals with planetology or astronomy and Gola Adhyaya deals with spheres, spherical trigonometry, geometry. So why did he name the first part after his daughter? Let's see that story. Leelavati was Bhaskaracharya's daughter. He adored her as any father would. So he wanted to study Leelavati's horoscope. He being an astrologer and astronomer, he had the knowledge to understand what will happen in her future. So he studied her horoscope. What he saw in the horoscope shocked and disappointed pointed him her horoscope told him that she had mangalya dosha or she would become a widow very early in her marriage so to overcome this to change her future he devised a strategy so bhaskara acharya wanted to marry off leelavati at a very auspicious time very auspicious muhurta to get to that muhurta he devised an apparatus during that time they didn't have watches so there was either a water apparatus or a sand apparatus to measure time so he took a cup an empty cup with a hole at the bottom and put it in a vessel filled with water so according to his calculations the moment the cup is filled with water coming through that small hole and when the cup sinks that is the exact muhurta when leelavati was supposed to get married during that time children were married of young so she was a young child she was very curious about this apparatus and she wanted to see how her father has devised this she goes to that vessel and she bends and tries to see what is happening so unknowingly one of pearls from her necklace or it said that it's a nose ring it fell into the cup and blocked that hole so eventually what happened the cup never filled and it never sunk and the muhurta just passed and nobody knew and the auspicious time went and when uh, bhaskara acharya came to check he noticed the pearl which got stuck in the cup and hence the marriage couldn't be performed but then he still went ahead and performed the marriage but eventually she became a young widow so leelavati became sad because it was her mistake that uh, caused this to happen and eventually she became dull sad so to overcome this grief bhaskara acharya started giving her small problems so he knew that leelavati was a very smart child and he started slowly coaxing her out of the sadness he started giving her small mathematical problems involving elephants animals horses etc so that way he slowly brought her out of this grief and she became a great mathematician in time she started solving difficult problems and by collecting all these problems he made it into a big treatise and he named it as leelavati leelavati is the first part from siddhanta shiromani there are different iterations of the same story but the end result is the same that bhaskara acharya couldn't change the future of his daughter even though he was one of the greatest astronomers and astrologers it's impossible to change the divine providence you can predict it maybe but you can't change it but what we have understood from this story is that leelavati was one of the first lady or women mathematicians and bhaskara acharya based his work on her name his another great work is karna kutuhala which is based on siddhanta shiromani our culture is filled with such stories and filled with such great people in ancient india mathematics developed as a tool to understand astrology and astronomy which are both part of jyotisha jyotisha is one of the vedangas in veda so we'll see more about indian mathematics ancient indian mathematics in our next videos as well this is your 5 minute gyan for the day i hope you have liked today's video the sanskrit word of the day is jyamiti ja is earth miti is the method of measurement from jyamiti we get geometry this geometry or jyamiti was used to measure 
the sacrificial places during yajnas the question of the day i mentioned jyotisha is one of the six vedangas what are the other five vedangas please let me know the answer in the comment section you can also check out the previous video that i did on vedangas the rishi of the week is marichi marichi maharshi let me know who this great maharshi is in the comment section i look forward to your answers check out my website zestinimbo.com and check out the questions that i posted there i'll see you all in the next video until then namaste